Hello and hi everybody! Welcome for another edition of the video productions by the Ortelino Company. I'm your host, Dieter, Dieter von Schura. I happen to be the owner of a little family company located in southern Germany, in the state of Bavaria. And we've sold art prints, mostly Japanese art prints, in weekly online auctions since 2001. And we produce these uh, wonderful, wonderful um, videos, always somehow focused, uh, of course, on these art prints that we sell. And recently we received a consignment of um, four prints uh, by the great Meiji artist Yoshitoshi Taiso, also called Yoshitoshi Tsukioka. And these four prints, they were from a series uh, with the title 32 Aspects of Customs and Manners of Women. I should maybe repeat that. 32 Aspects of Customs and Manners of Women. Well, um, today the using such a title would probably cause a shitstorm. It's certainly not politically correct. But this series is from 1888. Yeah, and there the world was a little bit different in their view towards women. Anyway, um, in this video, uh, I first want to talk a little bit about the artist Yoshitoshi for the beginners um, in Japanese prints. Well, then um, I shortly talk about this series. The series consists of 32 prints, by the way, and in the third part, I want to explain a little bit these art boxes with these Japanese writings um, here, here, what they mean, and how you can recognize the different editions. Um, yeah, this is always something important for collectors. So, Yoshitoshi. Who was he? Well, born in 1839, died towards the end of the 19th century in 1892. And he was a pupil, a student of another um, great artist of the 19th century, printmaker, Japanese um, artist, uh, a student of Kuniyoshi. Kuniyoshi so was mainly active um, during the first half of the 19th century. And his student, you can say his best student, Yoshitoshi, today he is considered the most important print designer, print artist of the Meiji period. Meiji period began in 1868, so we are pretty much back in history, and ended in 1912. And again, Yoshitoshi died at the age of 53 or 54 years old in 1892. And um, by today's um, art critics and art historians, um, Yoshitoshi is often called the last great master of ukiyo-e. For the beginners in Japanese prints, ukiyo-e, what is that? Well, it's just another word for Japanese prints until roughly 1900. Yoshitoshi is known for uh, several great series, print series. Also, this one is from uh, a print series. I mentioned it at the beginning, 32 aspects of customs and manners of women. Um, another series by Yoshitoshi, probably the most famous one, is 100 Aspects of the Moon. Uh, a second one I want to mention, New Forms of 32 Ghosts. Ghosts, the Japanese people, they believe in ghosts. Also Yoshitoshi, by the way, did. Um, a third famous series with the title Courageous Warriors in Bavarian style, um, Japanese 
Mushaburoi. Collectors of Japanese prints, they like to use Japanese words so that you as a beginner don't understand it. But uh, okay, don't be confused and don't be uh, uh, afraid. When you look a little bit behind it and have a nice guy like me who explains things, it's all quite easy. And, and the fourth um, series, these 32 aspects of customs and manners of women. And interesting, all these series, Yoshitoshi created them towards the, his late years, towards the end of his life. So um, the growing age, he became better and better, you can say. The 32 aspects of customs and manners of women. Japanese title, by the way, now I want to break with my um, Bavarian style Japanese. So, Futsoku san yuni. So, I told you before, um, art dealers and collectors of Japanese prints, they like to use Japanese words. Terrible. The series consists, like, as the title already says, of 32 prints, and they are all dated with the year Meiji 21. Oh, Meiji 21, which year is it? It's actually 1888, and Meiji 21, that is the Japanese calendar, and corresponds to 1888. At the beginning of this video, I promised you to explain the meaning of these different boxes, cartouches here with these Japanese writings. And I promised to tell you how you can recognize uh, to which edition a specific print belongs. Okay, now let's um, start with that part of my little video. Let's start with an easy brainer. Here on the left side, in that case, uh, it needn't always be on the left side, by the way, it depends on the design. This is the signature and this is the seal of the artist, of Yoshitoshi. And um, in case you should be a complete beginner, this is not a hand signature. Yeah, This is carved into the block. For prints from the 19th century, Japanese prints, you will never find a hand signed a uh, print that doesn't e exist. Then uh, this cartouche, this um, skinny vertical cartouche with a brownish background, well, this has the title of the series. Uh, this is this series translated into English, um, 32 um, um, Manners and customs, no, 32 aspects of manners and customs of women in Japanese. Oh, and now I have to read from a book. I, I will uh, show you the book afterwards. In Bavarian style Japanese, the title is Futsoku San Yuniso. Okay, and this Futsoku San Yuniso. Title of the series. And here you have the title of this specific design. Uh, this specific design has the title translated in English. In Japanese, it seems to be a little bit longer. Heavy, yeah, heavy. I mean, look at that. She's a waitress and she's carrying meals, well, including the plates and everything on a uh, heavy wooden concoction. My goodness, this in 1888, the job of a waitress was certainly uh, more demanding physically compared to today, I guess so. Anyway, well, there's one more box down here. I hope you can see it. Well, this has a lot of Japanese text and this is the, publish the publishing date, the publisher and when it was published. And here on bottom, that's the name of the engraver, the carver. Just for complete beginners of Japanese prints. These prints in the 19th century, this was always a teamwork of three guys, the artist, Yoshitoshi. Then the guy who carved the blocks, a wooden block for each color, the carver. And finally, the guy who pulled the print impression, the guy who worked with the ink, 
third, the printer. I'm sometimes asking myself who should get more praise, the artist, the, the, the engraver, the carver, the printer? I think all together, yeah. And by the way, there was a fourth person, and then was the publisher, and the publisher date, yeah, that is here. Yeah, and now my second promise, how to recognize the edition. Well, first, how many editions are there? Well, there's a first edition, a second edition, and a third edition, all made from the same original wooden blocks. And you recognize, and now he comes, my friends, yeah? have some patience. You see, this cartouche, that's the key for recognizing the edition size. This has three vertical uh, stripes in different colors. A little bit difficult to recognize because very often these um, diagonal color stripes are pretty much faded. Anyway, when it has three stripes, then it's the first edition. When it has two stripes, it's the second edition. And when it has no stripes at all, I show you another example. One of these four prints consigned to us. There, you see, no stripes at all. Just a gray, brownish background. Then it's the third edition. Why is this um, of any importance at all? Quite simple. Um, collectors prefer early edition because the impression quality is always the best and collectors pay or willing to pay by far more money than for a late edition. This is made from wooden blocks and the more prints you pull from these blocks, the more they wear off. Must also imagine they are wetted with water and the water of course works on, 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 on the wood and, and shrinks um, the wood. Therefore important for collectors the addition. And um, there is by the way there is a, a fourth edition which was made towards the end of the Meiji period, around 1910-1912. Um, these original blocks, the, the first three editions are all from the original blocks. And then these blocks, blocks, it's so hot today. These blocks were, so, were sold um, to another publisher and the publisher decided, okay, the, the quality of these blocks is now so poor um, and he had them recarved. So this um, edition is from recarved blocks and you can recognize it. It has again three stripes, but it does not have this publisher block. Instead, it has the crest of the publisher. I cannot show you an example because I've never seen um, a copy from this recarved edition. Um, something else, by the way, recarved, that means carved by hand. So also the recarved edition is all handmade. Nevertheless, um, for collector of Japanese prints, a recarved um, edition is by definition a reproduction. Okay, well, just to make this clear. Um, we have, well, these four prints, and I'll show them shortly to you. Let me see. We have this one, by the way, in the current auction. And the next one, we'll show them in all the coming auctions. This is also um, a first edition, three colored stripes. Also this one, and here the stripes are hardly to be recognized anymore. And the last one, I already showed it to you. Well, this is from the third edition. And please always read the descriptions of our catalog because the condition of these four prints is very different. And this is reflected by the price. Um, I mean, the, the one here I showed you before, this one and this one. So this is a minimum bid of roughly 800,000 euro, whereas 
um, this last one, the condition is not that good. You see there, uh, there's a the middle fold uh, that is, I think, only 200 minimum bid or 300 or something like that. Always read that our descriptions about the quality of conditions, the quality of colors, the quality of impressions. Uh, you may ask yourself now, where does this guy know all that from? Um, must be a genius, must have everything in his head. <laughs> no, my friends, it's quite simple. There's a book. Okay. Books are important. When you collect Japanese prints, Yoshitoshi's Women, this book is exclusively only about this series. The Woodblock Print series, Futsoko Sanyoniso. Futsoko Sanyoniso, that's um, the Japanese. Um, Japanese word for this series, uh, which was translated with this terrible, unpolitically unpol not correct 32 aspects of customs and manners of women. And here on page 26, there you find the description how to identify um, these different editions. So this is a very good book and very valuable when you collect Japanese prints especially those by Yoshitoshi. All right, um, we've come to the end, my friend, to the end of the video, fortunately only. Um, okay, take a look at our, catalog, our, at our current catalog. There you find, the, no, 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 no. There you find this wonderful design, heavy, <laughs> and uh, port from that, I'm always pleased to see you in our next video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.